Problems with negative number rules. Okay, so I get this a lot. Children here, a minus and a minus is a plus. Now this works okay for multiplication and division with negative numbers. You can multiply two negative numbers and get a positive. Minus three times minus four would be 12. That works fine. The issue comes when they try to apply that same rule to adding and subtracting to varying results. So for example, they might hear minus three plus minus four and think a minus and a minus. So my answer has to be positive. So it's positive seven, but that isn't the case. Minus three plus minus four is minus seven. Here is how I'm going to help clear this up once and for all. First step, realize that you need two different ways of thinking. One way for multiplying and dividing and another way for adding and subtracting with negative numbers. Okay, now we know that, then we need to remember that with multiplying and dividing negative numbers, you are concerned about whether the number themselves are negative or positive, and then you follow the rule. When you're adding and subtracting with negative numbers, you're concerned about what the signs in the middle of the sum end up being. Let's look at some examples. So let's try multiplication and division first. If we're multiplying two negatives, we end up with a positive answer. So multiply minus four minus two, we're going to get a positive eight. So we have a negative and a negative making a positive here. And then the other rule is that a positive and a negative makes a negative. And this is the same, just switched around. Positive and a negative makes a negative. And then as we know, two positives makes a positive. Okay, and this works the same for division. We have a negative divided by a negative makes a positive answer. A negative and a positive gives us a negative answer. Negative and positive, negative answer. Same again, just swapped around. As we know, two positives makes a positive. Okay, so to summarize, multiplying and dividing, we're looking at the numbers themselves and whether they are positive or negative. Now let's take a look at adding and subtracting. With adding and taking away with negative numbers, we wanna focus on the signs in the middle of the sum. So we might end up with 12 minus minus three. Two negatives do make a positive, except we're changing the signs themselves. So 12 minus minus three becomes 12 plus three. So our answer to 12 minus minus three is 15. And with this one, a positive and a negative does make a negative, but we change the signs themselves. A positive and a negative makes a negative. So instead of doing 12 plus minus three, we do 12 minus three and we get nine. So 12 plus minus three is nine. And of course, 12 plus three is 15. Now you might be thinking there's some options missing here and there are, it's just that we don't ever bother to write them like this. But I'll show you just so that we know that we've covered everything. The two we didn't cover are 12 minus plus three and 12 plus plus three. These two never really exist in this form because we don't ever bother writing that something is a positive number. Instead of writing 12 minus plus three, we would just have 12 minus three. You don't ever say, I'm going to minus a positive three from 12 now. It doesn't happen. But if we did write maths like that, 12 minus plus three, which we could, it still follows the same rule. So we have a negative and a positive, and that would make a negative. So again, the answer would be nine. And we know that 12 minus three is nine, so that makes sense. And 12 plus, a positive three, well, two positives, as before, make a positive. So we would just change that to one plus. It's just that we don't ever bother saying 12 add positive three. But if we did, the rule still works and it's 12 add three, which is 15 or so. Let me know if you have any extra questions and I can clear something else up. I hope you enjoyed.